Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes. This is your new signature move. Every time I've always done channel. this. Not really. I just. I feel like there should be a wink or a or a something. <laughs> Make it really creepy. Welcome the to the ladies. channel. If you are new here, my name is Richard. I'm a vocal coach, and, and that I'm Johnny. is Johnny. He's a fantastic songwriter, musician, and producer. And we're going to take on Nightwish. I have heard the name of the band before. I am 100% sure it is some version of a metal band because they were first requested when we reacted to Ginger. And I also have some students that have referred to Flora Jensen before, which is the lead singer. So I do know her name. I'm told she's absolutely amazing. This is probably going to be more up my alley of taste than yours. But I appreciate it, though. You do. Um, so yeah, I'm excited and, and I think we should just jump right in. Yes. And before we do, please hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So you always know what we're up to next. Look, Look at this that. mug. I just realized I was picking this up. I don't know if Aurora wants me to show this mug. She was young. I think it's perfect. Also, my apologies. I digress pretty quick there. Please be sure to click on the description below where you can buy us a coffee if you enjoy this reaction so we can continue to grow. Now all I'm seeing is you coughing in that video that you keep talking about. Also, you can become a silver, gold, or diamond throw only member for added perks. And check out throwka.com to learn more about your voice and the seven dimensions of singing. Oh, in the middle of that ad. It's all the old lighting and everything. It's so outdated. It's okay. I think it's great. It's all right. Okay, here we go. This is Nightwish Ghost Love Score Whack in 2013. All right, let's go. I'm turning this off. I don't want to stop this too many times. First impressions, it's like Evanescence meets Sabotage meets Meatloaf meets Dream Theater meets Awesomeness. Okay, this is your new favorite band. Okay. <laughs> this might be. Uh, this is 11 years ago. I don't know why I didn't jump in to experience them before this. I'm a little confused by that. I'm obviously stubborn with what I like and listen to, but this is cool. Uh, it is. It's got it's it's metal with that sort of fantastical, mm. you know, Lord of the Ringsy, uh, medieval <laughs> quality yes. to it. Yeah. It's got the it's key cool. change in, you know, interesting drum beats, not just a straightforward push. It's got the riffs. It's got the oh, oh, like all like the the, the choir bit. It, okay, I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> That's great.
Sebastian. Just a crystal tone mixed in with that apparatic yeah, tension. It's, yeah, it's a nice mix. Setting something bigger up. <laughs> you just you just know it. Oh goodness. My heart is happy with anticipation. This takes me back. It's all the songs I've made you listen to and play. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Quick thing on, on her voice. First section of, that we heard of this piece before the kind of breakdown bridge, definitely a little more traditional in terms of what's sometimes referred to as legit singing, which is just really an operatic intention, right? Classical, just, tr yeah. Based. Yeah, uh, bel canto, maybe some Alexander technique mixed in with that. Clear overtones, clear intention, wonderful control. Um, and it's always interesting to hear that over the distorted guitars and the keyboards and just there's that juxtaposition of the yes. really heavy music and the very crystal clear yeah um, and Amy, sounding voice yeah of course it's hard not to think of amy lee really kind of like made that popular you know with, with her brother in, in the, the rise of, of evanescence not to say that they were the first to do it but that's her brother kinda, yeah there's the uh ben they were siblings 
Yeah, I didn't know yeah. they were related. I don't think they're related. Dear, her, one make... of her good one of her good friends, Ben. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> one of her bros. That you know became popular and that that was exciting. So, and I'm sure that's inspired a lot of other singers to kind of kind of cross over to the realms. It's such an interesting thing. And then you get to this second part here, and I see there's a few more minutes to go, so it's going to continue. There is she's getting to the same range of notes, but it's not a head voice falsetto crystal clear sound there's power she's reshaping her throat just kind of projecting the overtones different there's more air pressure to access the same notes with a clearly different intention immediately shows off her skill sets and that's something we talk about a lot mm -hmm. with other artists on this channel and i'm hoping there's some growls there's some grit i don't know if that's coming my fingers crossed if not i'm 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 still thoroughly enjoying this, but that would be the other satisfying part to it for me. I mean, this is definitely, this is not my thing. Um, I'm always going to be like a three minute pop guy, but, but I do like different styles of music that have different intentions and do different, have different effects. And this is more, this is definitely like, there's an escapism to this type mm. of music, at least for me. It's surreal. And, it is. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> and it just, the fact that her voice is so angelic and it's just like complete, it's you cool. know, in, in comparison with the music, it just, it creates this otherworldly thing, you know? And it's like, this is cool. I but mean, you like movies like that. Like you mentioned Lord of the Rings. It has that, not just that sounds like a very aggressive Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like more Viking esque. I would, okay, I would say there's just, okay. People are dying. There's bloodshed. There's the, the, the worlds are in peril. Okay, That's Lord true. of the Rings yeah. is a legit, you know, metal construct <laughs> from his yeah. story. I feel like these guys have visited Mordor. Let's let's just say that. <laughs> yes. Or or have were forged there, <laughs> perhaps. Yes, <Yeah>, possibly. She's not afraid to get aggressive. Nope. I do like it. Change modulation. <laughs> Just for clarity, for, for tonal differences here, you can still hear it's her. It's like it's her voice is present, but she's changing uh, technique intention. So one is with the more operatic thing, the oh, oh, like those parts there. There's more space in the back of her mouth. We've talked about this before where it's just the overtones are intentionally enhanced in a surreal intention because we don't speak like this. Right. So it's just kind of has we this. We should, though. <laughs> but we should all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who watches this channel? <laughs> you are one of us, and we love you. Um, but we thank you. There's there's more space in the back that you've got a squeaky chair, my friend. You're like, 
<laughs> is it squ- Oh, I guess it is, yeah. Stop. Stay still. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Stop. I wouldn't breathe. Um, uh... <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, you know, this is gonna sound derogatory, but there's really something for everybody. Obviously, look at the crowd. That's a am- that's amazing. And oh my that's god! Just, yeah, it just speaks to the the importance of following your passion and following your heart. You know, especially in the arts. Like, cause if you do something that you really believe in and you do it to the fullest, I mean, there's there's an audience for it. I mean, where are these yes. guys from? Oh, I have no idea. So the band is uh, T-U-O-M-A-S, Tumas. So now I'm thinking we've actually, not no longer in Lord of the Rings, we have entered Narnia. You're thinking Tumnus. <laughs> Tumnus. <laughs> Lord oh, Jetson. Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> Lord Jetson. Uh, Marco. Uh, Haitala. I'm not sure of the name. Empu Troy. Kai, so I'm finished. Okay. What better way to conclude the year is we recapture one of the outstanding highlights by revisiting Finnish symphonic metal legends, Nightwish. All right, there you go. Yeah, definitely European names that, that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. But j- just to your point, they have nurtured their skills over a great period of time following their passion. And that's that's why you get something so epic and so well executed. For, for as much as I love commercial music, I, I gear my writing towards more of a commercial sound. I really have it an affinity and appreciation for people that just throw that completely away. And that's, they're just like, you know what? We're going to have we're a friends. two minute vocal section. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we're friends. Yeah. I've written many 15 minute songs and say, <laughs> Johnny, do a glockenspiel solo here. It'll be perfect. <laughs> just because I felt like it. Just because you felt like it. I appreciate it. So that I being have... said, I remember what I was saying before is in the more operatic style when Flora is singing, the overtones are, there's more space in the, the back of the mouth, the higher part of the, the oral pharynx region, which is, it's just designed to highlight the fourth overtone, which we've talked about more in length on other videos. But then she shifts to a little more of a pop element that just highlights the frequencies differently. So you get more mm. of like a megaphone style. She's not like a pushed belt here, but it's like in between. And that's why all of a sudden in this section, it's like, okay, we hear her presence, her acoustic fingerprint, if you will, it's just giving it a different feel stylistically, catering to each section of the song. Yep. All right, here we go. Yeah. yeah, doesn't have that opera overtone. Ah.
Yes! That's <laughs> super fun. God, she okay. She's got some. She's got some range. Girl can sing. I mean, where I didn't doubt that before, but that's a. Uh, where was she? Uh, a flat five. I. There's a lot of singers that can match that note. I can match that note. <laughs> See, it's not that hard. However. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the tone you want on that note is a completely yeah. different animal. And, and just to be able to do that with a clear tone, head voice, falsetto mix that she did earlier on, and then to have such incredible, just an, an intensity behind that that gives, it completely erases the feeling of whether you were in chest voice or head voice. There's no sense of of placement in, in terms of registers there. It's just, just a phenomenal balance of air pressure and tension and projection all the way through. And I love yeah. that, that she hinted to those little gritty moments halfway through. I'm super curious for those of you who are familiar um, with Flora and, and the band, do they have other songs that have like plays that part up of her voice even more? I'm curious to hear that mixed with this insane range and power. So yeah. thank you everyone for the recommendation. We greatly appreciate it. And that is it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and let us know what to check out next. Thanks Bye so everyone. Much. See ya.